Hi guys. Welcome to Tech Genius Academy. We are the industry led training providers for those who wants to build their career in data science, analysis, IoT, device driver, embedded Linux and many more. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Hello all, welcome to the Techo Genius Academy. So today we are here to discuss the session on embedded Linux. So we are using BeagleBone Black and uh, the concept uh, today what we're going to discuss is uh, like how we can boot the Linux kernel from U-Boot using the TFTP boot protocol. So what, what we know is uh, how we can flash the U-Boot uh, to that BeagleBone Black. Uh, what are the different uh, U-Boot commands? Uh, so we can use uh, the question mark uh, on the U-Boot and we can see that what are the different uh, U-Boot commands and uh, what we have studied till now that uh, how we can use that U-Boot commands and uh, uh, there are set of examples I have explained you that uh, how we can use uh, the U-Boot commands as a environment variables, how we can use as a uh, to just to uh, set some uh, addresses and all these things and uh, we have pretty good ex uh, like covered uh, the u-boot commands and today like i'm gonna discuss the another command in uh, which is present the u-boot is a tftp boot so how we can use uh, the tftp boot protocol uh, to boot the linux kernel Okay, so we will use from that U-Boot. So uh, what I have done, I have already made that setup. So I have connected my BeagleBone Black to the U, uh, uh, to the uh, USB, uh, uh, the laptop, and I have connected the UART uh, cable, uh, USB uh, UART cable, and I have connected my USB cable to that BeagleBone Black to the to, to just uh, power up. And uh, now uh, what we'll uh, do now. pretty good oh uh, what we will do here I, I, I just want uh, to change the color of like background color okay so I'll just uh, change the scroll back lines to 2000 text color I will just mention black background color I'll just change it to white this looks good yeah so i have already connected so I, what i will do i'll just reset yeah so now uh, we need to enter into the u-boot so i'll just press enter u-boot yeah so okay so i, I have just uh, press enter i just entered into the u-boot so now uh the first thing uh i want to do here uh okay so i'll just open one terminal here uh the first thing uh is we need to install the tftp server on the linux machine to do that the command is sudo apt install tftpd hyphen hpa okay okay so for me it's already installed so for you it will be installed and uh, if you need to check uh, where this tftp root server directory is present so the command is Right now it's uh, nothing uh, in this uh, path so when we will just uh, put this uh, Linux kernel in the device tree binary so we can see the it's present in that uh, var lib tftp boot path so now uh, what we will do we'll just go back to the terminal gtk terminal and uh, what what i'm gonna uh, 
check here and it'll just set the IP address here 192 some 168 110.10 yeah so I'll just uh, set so because a uh, set environment uh, variable so this is the command I have already explained you and uh, if you don't know like just check in my another session so you will find out that how we can uh, set this uh, things how we how we just play around this uh, stuff and all so to set the server IP address um, I need to write a server IP 192.168 and 110.20 this looks good and then now uh, just to connect my Bigelman Black to the Linux machine uh what i'm gonna do uh if config i have already set but okay so i have connected to my uh wi-fi okay so it's a, a net network network is connected so what i'm gonna do here i just need to set so, uh i just need to connect so what i'm gonna do here enp 3s0 yep I need eight hundred and ten dot twenty up. Okay, so now uh, just to confirm that, uh, I'll just go to the GDK terminal. Pink one eighty two one sixty eight dot hundred and ten dot twenty. Yeah, it's alive very good it's okay so up to this we have all we have connected it's confirmed that we have connected that beagle black and it's alive and uh, now what next so uh here is uh when when we uh flash our our uh, u-boot and the linux kernel and the root file system to that beagle black so uh, what happened that in the u-boot uh, or auto loading is there so you would will check the uh, where is that uh, you uh, like environment text file and uh, it will just check the boot arguments and uh, um, it will just flash the linux kernel and uh, it will check the device tree binary and it will just flash to the ram and uh, further it will check uh, the root file system so uh, what we need to do we just need to shut down the auto loading that when uh, when uh, this u boot comes so when we will just uh, uh, put this uh, linux kernel from u boot so uh, we need to do it by using auto load no so we need to use auto load to know so auto loading will be shut down so uh, this is meaning like we we, uh, we are just telling you would to uh, fetching the file from the tftp server but not to the uh, auto boot it or auto boot it okay so this looks fine to me so now uh, what are we gonna do here we just need to transfer the file over the uh, tftp so uh, what uh, I will do okay so I'll just go to the terminal yeah uh, so okay so first thing I will just check uh, my TFTP server is running or not to okay so sudo service TFTP D hyphen H P A status so yeah it's running so if it's not running uh how, what is the command to start that sudo service t f t p d hyphen h p a start service okay so this looks fine to me so now uh, what I will do I will just go to my custom setup 
so it's my beagle bone custom setup so we, we have uh, the beagle bone uh, device tree binary my mlo my uboot my environment text file my image and all these things my stuffs are there so which we have already flashed and i have explained you the thing but now what we are doing we are doing the boot the linux kernel from uboot via tftp boot okay using tftp uh, boot protocol so i will just copy okay i will just copy my image to the where where lib tftp boot yes okay and uh, similarly we will just copy the device tree binary to that same var lib tftp boot so just to confirm that it's over there yes so this looks good to me so now uh, what, uh we'll again go to the gtk terminal and uh, if you know about this command bd info uh, which will give you the baud rate uh, the start rest and uh, each and everything so uh, you know that uh, what is our load address what is our uh, flattened device tree address so uh, this is that load address from there uh, it's a, this uh, from where that linux kernel is, uh, is loaded and uh, okay so what we will do here i just need to use pre print env okay print environment variables load addr okay so uh, my uh, load address is 82 okay some zeros uh, yeah with the uh, some six zeros yeah okay so we can just print env flatten device tree okay res ftd addr and this is our uh, flattened device address okay so uh, what i'm gonna do here i just need to use tftp boot dollar load addr and my image Touching the Linus kernel image and copy to that load ATTR. Okay, so okay, this looks good. So we have done that, and uh, so TFTP from server. Uh, the IP address is mentioning over here, and our IP address is one ninety two one sixty eight dot one hundred ten dot ten. Okay, so this looks fine. So now the same what I need to do here TFTP boot. Okay. Uh, so dollar FDT ADDR flattened device tree address. And I will just put my device tree binary here. this looks good to me yeah so it's transferred yeah and uh, now uh, we just need to uh, set the uh, boot arguments and uh, what i will do i'll just because i just um, i'm just lazy to write down that uh, entire command i will just go and open my in one text variable file and one text file i'll just copy this great so now what i will i write set env and i'll just paste it here setting env boot arguments console this and um, baud rate and uh, the uh, root uh, file system uh, the path okay so this looks good okay there is some error okay so i have not mentioned the colon
Z E N V boot args. Yeah, so looks good. So now uh, to do that, the command is boot Z. Okay, so dollar load E D D R hyphen dollar F D T E D D R. Yeah, so this is the command. So with this command, see the Linux kernel. So it's booted. So we are into this. Yeah, so this looks good. So many, many congratulations. Uh, you have successfully learned that how you can boot the Linux kernel. So we have successfully booted the Linux kernel from U-Boot using TFTP boot protocol. You can check. So it's pretty much good. So I have explained you this thing. So in a further session, so uh, we'll just try to add uh, more stuff. We will just try to add more protocol uh, uh, where we can use uh, uh, booting the Linux kernel from the U-boot. And uh, thank you so much. Please follow uh, Techo Genius Academy uh, for more updates and uh, thank you so much.